Salutations, Celestial Sightseers. I'm David Fuller from Eyes on the Sky. NGC 663 is a wonderful grouping of stars that, well, according to some people's imaginations, looks a bit like a lawnmower. And if the orientation in a telescope is correct and you squint the right way, it kind of does. But more on that later. This open cluster located in Cassiopeia is fascinating because it not only is 400 stars strong, it contains a rather large group of a certain kind of stars called BE stars that show a specific spectral line of hydrogen. And they are generally smaller, often hotter stars too. Helpfully for us, in the entire cluster, there are about two dozen stars that are from 8th to 10th magnitude and another three dozen to 12th magnitude. So with moderately dark skies and or sufficient aperture, a lot can be seen. Here's how to locate this open cluster. To find NGC 663, look for the W or M shape of the constellation Cassiopeia in the northern sky. If you're not sure where to look for it, check out my Shapes in the Sky Cassiopeia video for how to find it. A link for that is in the description of this video. NGC 663 is on the side of Cassiopeia with the dimmer stars, Delta and Epsilon. The cluster is nearly equidistant between the two, but it's not on a straight line between them. We'll have to look on the outside of the W or M shape just a little. Remember what direction this is, as users of reversed image finder scopes will see stars go the opposite direction of the motion you need to move. And there are several clusters in this area, so in a moment, I will explain how not to get confused. With a magnified finder scope having a 7 degrees field of view, place Delta and Epsilon Cassiopeiae that are about 4.5 degrees apart, both in the field of view one on each side of what you can see through your finder. From most skies, even a small finder scope will also show several dimmer stars between Delta and Epsilon. If you imagine the exact halfway point between those two bright stars, then look just outside of the W or M shape of Cassiopeia here, you'll notice one of the brighter stars in this area, though there's another slightly brighter one further out and not as centered. Aim for the more centered star, and then move half that distance again, in the same direction. Looking in this area in your main telescope with an eyepiece showing a one degree field of view, you should see that star you were aiming for at the eyepiece and these two dimmer eighth magnitude stars. These three stars point right to NGC 663, which may already be in your field of view. Just center it and there you are. More on observing it in a moment. For telescopes with a red dot finder, this cluster is a bit more challenging, but it can be found. Aim the red dot finder at the spot directly between delta and epsilon that are nearly 5 degrees apart. Imagine moving at a right angle, outward from the W or M, about the distance of that 5 degrees. You might try starting that distance first, then moving halfway back in. If not, then move a little less if you're unsure, and then you'll find the stars mentioned above in your main telescope. Once looking through it, use them to aim at and then center the cluster. This open cluster is fairly good sized at about 15 arc minutes across, which translates to around a quarter of one degree. If you have a medium magnification eyepiece, it may frame the cluster nicely. And if you have only a couple eyepieces and it's filling the view entirely, use the lower magnification. And as for the lawnmower, it's there. These stars form what could be the body and wheels. Here's the engine and there's the handle. Do you see it? No? If not, let me know what you do see here. I just see a gorgeous open star cluster. And if you liked this video and it helped you to find this object successfully, check out the other 39 Telescopes on the Sky objects. I lead you step by step to the best and easiest objects to find from the Northern Hemisphere. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button just below this video to the right on YouTube. 
I make regular updates on how to find all kinds of interesting objects in the night sky, naked eye, with binoculars, telescopes, and occasional reviews too, and have since 2010. Thanks for watching. I'm David Fuller, wishing you clear and dark skies.